This will probably look better once it's once it's actually uploaded. But anyway, yeah, going to pull play with some uranium. With an involuntary twitch. Yes. Run faster, you little kid. There's a green outline around that mountain. Um. <laughs> Unless it's intentionally slow, I feel like this should be going faster. I guess it was, because this looks fine. Yeah, what the hell? That's not good. Pokemon. Uranium version. Yeah, look at that cover. I mean, look at that title screen. It's very Gen 4, but everything else is like Gen 5. Check. Oh, the settings got reset. I can always adjust when needed. Go with the diamond and pearl font. Let's see if it's still okay. Good. Here we go. Choose your game mode. Regular. I know from what I remember, this game's hard, so I wouldn't really go with the Nuzlocke mode. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Bambo. Er, but if you find it find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. What, what, want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? I'll have you journey across the region, collecting specimens for my research. Along the way, you're sure to encounter all kinds of people. Some will be willing to cooperate and some not, but you should try and be friendly with everybody. You don't want a bad reputation, right? People will ask for your help solving mysteries or lending them a hand when they're down. And it won't be easy, there's dangers everywhere. Whether there will be wild creatures or people with ill intent, you'll need to be on your guard. But keep a clear head on your shoulders, kid, and I'm sure you'll pull through just fine. I mean, basically the controls are simple. Using keyboard, so... That directional arrows move, C lets you confirm a choice, X lets you do exit stuff or open the pause menu, Z lets you run, and F5 lets you use the key, lets you use a key item. Should be fine with that. Kitty bird. We humans share this world. <laughs> My. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People in Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokémon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. But there's no stu but there's so much we still don't know about Pokémon. That's my job. I study Pokémon for a living. S <coughs> Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokémon elements. 
Every Pokémon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But, why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Uh, but I'll tell you more about... I'll tell you more at the... at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokémon. Now, if you'll just fill out this form here... Who are you? Three choices. I assume male, binary, non-binary, sorry, and female. We'll go with you. Like to know your name? Oh, I get to use the keyboard. Your name is Isaac? Are you ready? Your journey, your story, is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokémon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go! Oh man, this sounds so exciting! Wait, ten years ago, my family lived in Beale Beach City. The largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokémon professor. Oh, so I went with the non-binary option? Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend, spend at home. Found time to spend at home with young Isaac. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or... The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the <clears throat> It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... There must be a breach in the reactor! At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown! Everybody needs to evacuate now! Lucille! You have to leave too! Lucille! And then Sonar Fallout, fallout happened! With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Somehow. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had had a profound effect on Callan. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. I'm also noticing he has a scouter on his head. Hmm. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Isaac was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bombo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mokitan applied. Me, their childhood friend, and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so my journey began. Come downstairs, you are late. Can I run? Nope. It's a Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new system soon. I don't remember when this came out. I don't rem I also don't remember if the Switch was known at the time. Anything in here? Knew it. I believe, like, in the first generation. Hold on. 
one sec, I'm gonna lower the sound. This should be fine. Yeah, I believe in the older in Gen 1, they basically made it so that there was a potion in your PC. Oh, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum, seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Well, if only those old, these old bones could do, mo do more, then, then I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo, always following in your footsteps. That one, you've always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. You got the running shoes. To run, hold Z. You can toggle, toggle, toggle in the... Yeah. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after your first, getting your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. I might as well just... Oh, wait. Much better. Moki Town. Which kind of look... Oh, it's, it's a bit bigger than Palette. So you're finally heading out on the adventure, eh? You take after your old man that way. Chicken, chicken. So, the thing with this game is... It has original Pokémon present, as well as a bunch of new ones. A, a bunch of old ones. And I believe they also based it on, like, some of the newer games where you can't get all of them, but you can get a good chunk of the old ones. Which made sense. They want you to actually play with the newer Pokemon and try to build off whatever team you have. Hello, Isaac. Today is the day you and Theo receive your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo certainly was excited. I imagine you must be too. Ah, uh, I remember that day all those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. It's an auspicious day, indeed. If you're looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab in the north of town. He's not very patient, so you should probably hurry along and join him. What is he, Barry? Barry! I also remember this game... Oh, hey, wait up! Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen, because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Keep, try to keep up, Isaac. I'll wait until after we get the Pokemon. Hey, if it isn't Isaac, and uh, your friend, Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you m both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test? I didn't study for any test. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon Trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling types. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking! I want to get my Pokémon! Jeez, kid, you're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more about what's go what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now... Isaac, are you ready to take the test? Excellent! Without further ado... When you encounter a new kind of Pokémon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Alright, so from 
from this, it actually lets you know what you're gonna get. Red is the fire starter, green is the fi- the leaf- damn it. Not thinking straight today. Grass starter, and then this is the water starter. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokémon? Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokémon would win in an all-out battle? Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokémon trainer? I'm just going with this because I want the grass starter. I'm gonna be a Pokémon master, and no one's, nobody's gonna stand in my way. <laughs> I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished my analysis. Isaac, you seem to be a trainer who likes to play it safe. Patience and endurance are your biggest assets. You know that the best things in life come to those who wait. For a defensive trainer like you, Orchinx is your best pick. Uh, okay. There we go. Go ahead and take it, Isaac. I have obtained Orchinx. Okay, what should we name you? Um... I'll name it Aki anyway. Because it is, it can be a boy name too, so it works. Hey, I'm tired of waiting! Isaac got their starter already, when do I get mine? I'm done announcing your results, Theo. Hmm... Theo? Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young and can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, Elitux is the best bet. I believe that one's Water Electric. Yes, my first Pokémon! Isaac, you have a Pokémon and now I have a Pokémon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle! Oh please, not in the lab. Too late! Rival Field wants the battle. So, I believe this game was made using the... the RPG Maker XP system, which is generally popular for a lot of... for a lot of these fan games. And I know there was that Infinite Fusions game that was also made through this. And yet somehow this is probably more impressive because they got the Pokémon to actually animate. Or at least when it's the front-facing ones. Yeah, I figured. But hey, you're, you got the Leech Seed, so you're, you're gonna go down. Serious? 
slowest battle ever. supposed to win. Too bad. But how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's possible. Great, good trainers never lose. I, I, way. Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your, po heal your Pokemon for you. Your Pokemon were healed. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and Isaac's, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way! I want a do-over! How come Isaac gets the better starter? It isn't fair! I'm going home! Uh, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid, after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokémon isn't as e easy as he imagined. I'm going out to the entrance of route to Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokémon. See you later, Isaac. Pokémon... So yeah, in this game, every all the starters have dual types, so in my case, it's Grass and Steel. And there was another thing they did with the starters that I'll bring out later as well. Let's probably see if Theo's at home. That's not his house. Can we just not bring him? Of course. What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear if he did anything to hurt him... Oh. So that's how it is. So he got the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. Hmm, I see, that explains it. A harsh lesson to be sure, but losing is as much of a <laughs> as much part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect, so losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still, crying won't solve anything, so that's something he has to learn. Theo! Come downstairs right now, young man! Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair. Isaac got the better starter than me. Well, now they're gonna win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a whole race Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? Isaac, please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know? Oh, I nearly forgot. Isaac, Theo, I have something for both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Isaac, your father Kellen sent me these and told me to give them to you both when you began your journeys. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Pokepod. What's that? It's a high-tech device that is, that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool! <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Isaac. Well, talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. 
Isaac, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving too. I won't see you or Theo again for some time. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant, Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place Lucille was ever seen. Best of luck on your journey, Isaac! I should save. Pokemon. I think it's broken! So this is the Tandor region, huh? What's over here? No phone numbers. Hey there, Isaac. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokémon trainer in the Field Research Aid. Now watch closely. Wild Pokémon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass. But that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves, in water, and even in cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokémon. Simply so take a few steps in and... Look, it's a wild Chinamunk. Chinmunk. I get it. They're very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go, Raptorch. This little guy was the other starter Pokemon you could have received. I think he's taken a shine to me, and I rather like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. Now the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Raptorch, you scratch. Chin! Now that it's weakened, now's my chance to catch it. Pokeball, go! And that's how it's done. Now, Chin Monk is fairly, are fairly easy, but you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with status ailments or use a special Pokeball. Uh, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Isaac, Theo, these are for you. Pokedex. That Pokedex is an encyclopedia that will automatically update itself whenever you encounter or catch a new Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure to fill out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Sweet. Pokeballs are necessary for catching Pokemon, of course. What's that thing the kids always say? Gotta catch them all! If you run out, you can pick some more at any Pokemart. Moki Town doesn't have one of those, but there's one in Kevlar Town, Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 1. So with that said, your lesson is now over. Oh, but you two have Pokepods, don't you? Here, let me input my number. You can give me a call anytime, and I'll take a look at how your Pokedex is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have special rewards for you. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck in your journeys, both of you. <sighs> Isaac, I don't care that you got the stronger starter. I'm still going to be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. Anything here? Nope gotta be in the forest. Route 1. Oh, right. So, okay. I recall this game having a bit of, like, attention because it was the one Pokemon game that got C and D'd by Nintendo and people were like, oh, this is the, the forbidden Pokemon game that people that Nintendo don't want you to play, blah blah blah. I played four hours of this trying to get into it and I just couldn't. And this is part of that reason. 
this game can be very difficult at the beginning. Not to mention, it's somewhat slow. And people say that the Gen 1 games are hard and slow. Yeah, try and play this. But since I'm streaming, I'm gonna actually try and give it my all. I may have to off-screen train, which is, shouldn't be a problem since we're not doing a Nuzlocke. If I'm to do a Nuzlocke, I'd rather it be on an actual Pokémon game. So then at least it'd be fairly balanced. And that's not to say this doesn't have any effort put in. There's a lot put in, it looks like. Pokemon other than this. I need to run back home and heal. And also the reason I'm doing this is because at some point I want to do a I want to do a video covering like various RPG Maker related games, which means you'll probably see another one of these, not Pokemon, but any kind of RPG Maker game that I want to get footage for, that I just feel like streaming. But yeah, this is ending up, this is going to end up on there as part of a brief bit. Of course, my opinion on this game might change. It might improve, actually. But, like, it's... The fact that I couldn't get past this town or route, that's, like, part of why I have a bit of a negativity towards it right now. Because I do want to see why people seem to like this game. There we go. Gen 1 is caught! The length of a Chen Monk's stripes determine its authority in a group. If it spots a predator, it shrieks loudly to warn the others. I assume there'll be, like, a nickname guy later. I'm only gonna nickname the Pokémon that I absolutely want to have. I mean, Aki will, of course, be the mainstay. But it also means we're gonna have to do some leveling up. Not very exciting, I know. So I do think that this game has like a system in place where it actually checks what time it is, so that's why it's dark right now. Which also means that it's possible that certain Pokémon will only appear if I'm actually in the daytime. This 
also means that I'm gonna be doing a lot of leveling up today! I know, this is gonna seem like a boring stream otherwise. I'll try and make progress. These ponds next to my house have a wide variety of Pokemon. If you prove you are strong, I may give you old, my old fishing rod. But you need to. But first, you need to defeat Maria. Not now. Talk city's gym leader. That's not fair. I have to wait to get a fish. My Shen Monk is gonna evolve, or not evolve, level up in a bit. As will Aki! I also remember this game supposedly getting updates frequently before the C&D happened, which probably explains why some of the Pokémon don't animate, like the starters. And I do believe that many of their attacks aren't complete. Again, this was made with XP, so... Some things are just gonna be incomplete. They definitely tried to like make it as as proactive as the other as the main games. They tried to have events and they even have Pokemon you can't get. Like had they not have been C and D, they might have gone places with us. Level three. Not even level up. I'm curious. Oh wait, he's got an item. Hyper Potion! Does that mean... Yeah, yeah, pick up. One XP?! Are you kidding me?! <laughs> One point! That's all it needs! What's down here? Oh yeah, another trainer. Ooh, cub bug. Let's catch it. I know I should weaken it, but some of these are. Li I have to imagine it's like with the other games. Pokemon usually hit. Okay, I'm gonna have to weaken it then. It's like many of the st the Pokemon you fight at the beginning have a very high catch rate, making it easy to actually get them. So I was hoping it would work. But I guess I'm just gonna have to toss. Are you serious? Oh, I'm gonna run out of Pokeballs. Fine, do another tackle. Love bug. 
It shares characteristics with bug and mammal Pokémon. Being in its presence has a calming effect. I better go heal. Again. Starting to see the problem with this game! And they also made the starting town a bit too big. Feel me. Run fast! Gotta run faster, 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 faster! Alright, let's go face that trainer. You're a new trainer, huh? I just started too! And why are there trainers on the first route? Alton! should not have Pokémon this strong! Wait. Oh, I thought I had higher... Tackle. Oh wow, it's pretty squishy. I can probably beat it before it runs out. Yep. What?! Trainer, but some people definitely are seem more suited for it than others, don't you think? Again, that's bullshit. Back to the lab again. It's like not even Gen 1 was this bad. This game has experience share early. I hope experience share comes early because that'll make things a lot easier. Ooh, berries. There are two orange berries. Oh, and I can plant berries too. Take a berry, plant a berry. than me. We're roughly the same.
Yeah, I thought so. Oh my word. Serious. In case of the tough gym battles that are sure to happen. After all, if the trainers are the if the normal trainers are gonna be this tough. Poisonous Pokemon. I carry antidotes. Well good thing my Lynx is freaking steel. But yeah, if the if the trainer Pokemon are gonna be tough. What the... I am very much scared for, like, the gym battles. And they have the audacity to have a Nuzlocke mode? People would probably wipe on the very first dungeon here. check and see what Chem ah, what Aki's attack stats are. So it's depending on what kind of moves it learns, I either need to go for physical ones or special ones. special stat this one's good at. And its defense is gonna be high at least. Wait, what was the... Battle armor. This Pokemon is protected against critical hits. Good. And this one has natural cure. Oh, and you got another item. Great Ball! Nice! Hey, you! Yeah, you over there! We're gonna battle now, okay? Bug Catcher Flood would like to battle. What kind of name is Flood? Alright. Just in case it has poison. It is one of those bug Pokemon. Nope, oh, stop. At least Leech Seed Leech Seed will offset the damage I take. I get two back. Oops, wrong move. this early on would be nice against stuff. Because that would mean it's an actual tank. So 
scratch shit to death. Alright, how good? Level 3! And he's sending out another one. Let's see if Chin Monk can actually take it down. Level 5! I think the last one was level 4. Ooh, crit hit! What in the world is this game? None of my Pokemon can hit that hard. That's not fair. Alright, heal. I mean, I should probably save these, but then again, Shinmon could probably get more. It already got like a Hyper Potion. There we go. Level 5. And still nothing. Whoa, that was wicked! And you're another trainer, and... Ooh, bird! Burby! I know it probably has peck, but screw it. Tackle! Flash? Alright, last Pokeball. And we're probably close to town anyway, but... So it should be fine. Are you serious? Fine, we'll use the Great Ball on it. At least we're near a town that has the balls to sell. against Gen 1! Stop being bad! Turn around. I'll battle you in a bit. First we're gonna go into town. young trainer. Is this maybe your first time seeing a Pokemon Center? Come with me, I'll show you around. A Pokemon Center, first and foremost, is like a hospital for Pokemon. My sister here will restore your hurt Pokemon to full health. Our services are completely free of charge, so feel free to use them as much as you like. That's not all. That's not all that there is in a Pokemon Center, though. To my left is a PC. It can be used to store items and Pokemon. If you are already carrying six Pokemon, you can catch another. It automatically gets sent to the PC. Tandor's Pokemon storage system was developed by someone named Twitch. So that's why it's called Twitch's PC. I haven't the foggiest idea who they really are though. Up here we have the Tandor network. It allows you to connect with other trainers all around the world. If you talk to the attendants, they can fill you in with more info. This concludes the tour. As thanks for listening, why don't you take these? We hope to see you again. I'm very curious about this, but we'll save it for another time. Let's go find a Pokemon and get some balls. Oh hey, more berries. Catch a berry. 
can't really return, I'll just take them. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll regrow on their own. Oh, this is the berry store. Welcome to Kevlar's Berry Shop. Take a free sample of Tandor's most delicious berries. Your Pokemon will love them. Baku Berry. Gara Berry. Kupu Berry. Aka Berry. Okay, thank you. My girlfriend is mad at me, so I'm buying her flowers to get her to forgive me. There's the Mart. Oh, by the way. Oh, good! You got another item. Ultra Ball! Well, at the very least, they'll have a good money making strategy. 3,000, so. 18. And you'll throw in a Premier Ball, too. How many did I get? Only one. Save. Three out of six so far. Well, there should be some in this area. So let's go back down and fight. Probably rock smash stuff. Not a cub bug. You can beat that up. Fortog. Can't poison me because I'm a freaking steel cat. Also, Krogunt called it wants its gimmick back. Hoping he'd be an idiot and actually try to poison sting me again. Oh, crackers! I lost. Hey, you're pretty good. Want to trade Pokepod numbers? I'll win against you next time. And this system, I believe, was introduced in freaking Gold and Silver. Yep, here's another Burby. I will. 
No, we're gonna catch you. Not with that. It's this. So you're supposed to be easily caught in like the earth. There we go. Why is that so loud? Eden bird, huh? It defends itself by dazzling opponents by its flashing by flashing its brightly colored plumage. They are known for their elaborate mating dances. And Jim Monk already has a new item. Escape rope. There's another one. I know that sound effect is a default RPG maker sound. You missed! might be a default animation, too. I mean, again, you gotta work with what you got. That's a dead end. I had to double check. And also, I'm wrong. I was wrong. The Owl 10 is in the next group, which I think is up. Maybe we should try catching it before we call it. Again, we'll be doing Prague next, but we're gonna go on for as long as we can. Let me see the next route. At first. Burby needs some action too. Bugs, it would probably win easily. Dang it. It sure would be nice to have a new move that's stronger than this. Heal. The lay. 
sure would like a new move that actually does special damage. Oh, nice. There's like a nice little glow effect going on. Maybe these people have something for me. Let's talk to them. Raising my special chin monk. But even though they have special pow powerful moves, we keep losing. Wanna fight? Okay, here we come. Wow, really? We're gonna fight in here? Okay, rich boy. He's got three Pokemon! I better switch. I'll pit your Chin Monk with mine. It's a good thing we're in a Pokemon Center. Dang it! I also thought he only would have one, not three Pokemon. Birdie's level three. Another one? Really? I know you're about to level up, so let's keep fighting. <laughs> I love it when the, I do the crits. Yeah. Wow, it's attacks. Is this now your special attack? And learn charge. Oh, I see, because it's... I guess you evolve into something electric. Kabug. I'm very curious as to what you evolve into. potions. See? We keep losing. Nurse, can you hear my chill junk? Thanks, now they're fitting, fighting fit. Oh, I can actually keep fighting you here? Okay, that's, that's kind of a neat idea. We built a second floor for the Poke Center, but we don't know what to put here. Oh wait, Tender Network is up there. Okay, so this would be a nice spot to get money and experience if you don't want to like keep running outside. That's good, at least. And it's really hoping you would just use Growl or something. Growl. Keep 
healing just for a little bit. Oh, and he's got an item. I'm sorry, she has an item. Six and it learns Strungle Bug. Well, at least now I have a way to level up. I can just do that later, but first we'll go to that route. If you are planning to go to Nautox City, it would probably be a good idea to buy some potions at the Mart. They can save you, yeah. Say, Trainer, what starter did you pick? Nice choice. Orchink Steel type gives it a, gives it lots of resistances, but watch out for S'more Ember. S'more. The heck is a S'more? Lol. <laughs> Don't you think this town is a little boring? At least we have a little a small bike shop. Can't go past that. Route 2. I believe this is where I can get the Al Alton. Yes. Can I get it to appear before we have to end things? That's my goal. Level 4. Yeah, joke's on you. This is a special move. How are you faster? Oh, please go first. Yes! It's not too far. There it is. I'm getting you simply because you are part cat. Depending on how you turn out, I may keep you permanently, or at the very least, you'll be my go-to flyer for, you know, fly. We'll figure it out. Let's 
Let's use the Premier Ball on it. Got it. Observer Pokemon. Alton are mainly seen at night, when they are looking for berries and other individuals of its species. They are known for their lovely singing voice. Got the Alton, that's all that matters. So let's go beat up on Rich Boy again. You ever think maybe the reason you keep losing is because you'd never leave the Poke Center? Your Pokemon aren't gonna get stronger unless you leave and actually do something. better with attack or defense attack or special so we'll have to figure that out later what's Alton's stats seems like it's got a higher gag or something. It's just one every time. And I keep forgetting to check how much money this kid drops. Okay, yeah, he's first. She's first. Damn it. Fuck it. like this now, how am I going to be for the Brog screen? <laughs> Funny thing though, I don't remember if I ever thought to talk to this guy. I feel like this would have solved a lot of my earlier problems. Because there is a readily available trainer who's basically... Who, every time you beat, you basically get good experience, as opposed to fighting, fighting the wild Pokémon. And if he's rich, that means he's going to give you some decent money.
Let's see how much travel bug does. Uh, it goes that! Whoa! That's a lot! This game slowly redeeming itself. before you die. Yes! Uh -huh. 
seven. Now Alton needs to level up. outside. <sighs> I heard Alton nest in this area. I'm trying to catch one. Timothy. Got a birdie. Oh, look what I have! I have one you don't, huh? Oh, Ow. What's it pecking it with? Its mouth? Seriously, it doesn't have a beak. It just has a mammal mouth. Gotta remember to take that damn item off my chin monk. But that's fine. He doesn't have any special moves. Stupid trainer, don't you know you don't have anything to take advantage of? Tell me, what's your secret to Pokemon training? Please go to the Poke Center and beat up the one trainer that's inside. Hmm. Hey kid, are you tough enough to make it through this cave? Oh, not really. Banky. Oh, wait, do I get a mink? Okay, now I remember. I have made it past here before. It's just after a while I gave up. What the heck is that? Not something I can easily fight. So we're gonna switch in. I guess you're a rock type. The 
This isn't good. Unless I get a special move soon, I'm not gonna get through this cave. Or of course, I do need a manky. Yeah, I, I guess that's another thing. At least in the other games, the rocks don't come until after your first gym or something. Because by then you'll at least have a move that's super effective against these guys. All I have is Leech Seed, which is taking too long to take out. So I either have to hope for a super... Uh, for a crit, or I have to just wait long enough. doesn't have rock throw. Yeah, harden all you want. Like it's tough, all right. Hmm, you're pretty good. Trade numbers. Old entrance to Noctal City. Now talk. Can't go through there, so we gotta go through the cave. Oh, good. There's light. Oh no. Oh, hey! You can get one of these at least. Spear, it's steel and rock? That's even better! Incredibly dense metals make up Bar Barul's body. They are much heavier than they look. They live in dark caves and feed on rocks and metal ore. Yay! You learned Quick Attack. Before I put you in, we should probably gauge how strong a lot of these guys are. Because we need a manky next. I know there's one in this cave. Yep. Well, either that or it's in the route outside. What the... autonomy? Looks cute. Oh no! It's poison! Got it. 
you are poison. Newbie trainers traveling through caves are advised to bring along antidotes against Autonomy's poison, which causes great pain if it isn't treated no immediately. And it's in the PC. I'm curious. Will it faint if it runs out of HP? Okay, good. In older games, they would just be KO'd, and here it's like some of the newer games, they just survive with a single HP. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to have the Barul with me, because we're dealing with a Poison Trainer, Jim. So I will attempt to like level up off screen. Especially since we're gonna be dealing with a lot of these things. Until I get a special move, I should refrain from fighting these. I said stop it. Let's look for the mankeys outside. They're probably in the grass. Cause if I could find Alton out here, I should probably find Mankey here too. That's not Mankey. We'll go for another 10 minutes before I have to switch to Prague. Yeah, I'm really hoping there's an experience share coming. That's the one saving grace of newer games. here too. get a special move. I'm gonna be sad if you level up right now and you don't get anything. Because at the very least I'll be able to fight those stupid barrels. Should be in this route.
You learned Cook Attack! Didn't mean to put you there. Give me the man key! I don't know. Supposedly, there's at least 200 in this game. Let's see how many Pokemon are in Uranium. Yeah, there's like, as of July 2nd, 2024, the fan-made video game... Oh wait, that's... Let's not read that, that's the AI thing. There are 200 in the Pokedex, but two of the ones you'll see are unobtainable. And six have yet to be added to the game, with two of them being completely unknown in time. Of course, that was from eight years ago. So there's less than 200 Pokemon available in this game. Because again, <laughs> cease and desist. Or no way. I should probably see if there... There should be a wiki thing for this. Yeah, there are 200 Pokemon in this game. And some cannot be found because of how they are designed.
Fairy Wind. What does it do? Wind stirs. User stirs up. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll replace the string shot. No evolution, no nothing. Still would like a man key before I call it. Unless it's on the other side of the cave, or in the cave, or I don't know. You hit hard. Don't miss. I said don't miss. Last one, and then we'll... It's not gonna come to me. I'll just have to try and get it off screen if I'm able to. Because unfortunately something came up for this week, so I'll, I might not be able to stream Thursday. So, I'll let you know otherwise. But that's it for today. I'm gonna prepare myself for Prague. So I'll be right back.